Hello everyone, it's Derek here with Get Lost Trails. Today we are in southwestern Colorado here by Durango, getting ready to hike the Animus Mountain Loop Trail. According to all trails, it's six miles round trip. that would be about 9.6 kilometers with 1,500 feet elevation gain or about 460 meters. They rate the trails moderate. It's the first part of August here. It's right about noon. It's pretty warm out in the sun. The thermometer says it's 82. Might have been a good idea to start this in the morning, but here we are anyway. Had some other things to take care of. We're gonna go hit the trail. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoy the hike. Quick look at the map here. We're taking off from right here at the trailhead. Gonna go up. Now there's some options here with the trail. We're gonna do a loop. Now some of this area is closed. December 1st to April 15th. Like pretty much the whole thing, I guess. And this northern part here is closed until July 31st. I believe it's like Peregrine Falcon nesting area or something. Being a loop trail, you have the option of going clockwise or counterclockwise, of course. Uh, we're gonna do counterclockwise today. Stay to the right here at the fork immediately where the trail starts. Head us up to switchbacks. Should have some pretty good views of Durango as well as the surrounding area. Starting off right here in town, this probably is the most serene setting for a hike, but it's a nice trail. Pretty well taken care of, it looks like. A little bit of road noise in the background construction noise. Just a couple switchbacks in and you already have a pretty good view of Durango here. Animus River running through town there. Really popular with rafters. And the substation where we started the hike there. You can see we're not very far from the trailhead. Pretty quickly into the trail you're going to come to another fork here. Several options on this route so it helps to have the map on you but stay to the right here to continue the big loop hike. If you go to the left there, that's gonna cut you across if you just wanna do a really short loop. I mean, it's gonna cut you right across and back down. Just under a mile in, we've again come to another cut across point here. Again, it helps to have the map, but we're gonna stay to the right here on this lower trail, which has the main viewpoints on it, go around the mountain and then back. This connector here will cut you across back to the other side, which you could head yourself back out if you wanted to. We're gonna continue on though, around the main loop, take us around the north side of Animus Mountain here. I believe through what would be the closure area a couple days ago in July there, so it's a good thing we waited on this, I guess. Behind me there in the distance, that tall peak that you see, that's Perrin's Peak. Earlier in the season, they actually had a small wildfire up there. They had it contained pretty quickly. I can't remember if it was on like 10 or 20 acres or something, but pretty close to town. About one and a quarter miles or two kilometers into the Animus Mountain Trail here, we've come to one of the scenic overlook areas. There's several of these along the route. Some of them are kind of informal social trails that you can just bypass. This one here, those are real short out here to this overlook. Pretty obvious one that you don't want to skip. Nice view of Durango off in the distance there to the south. And then off to the east here, the Animus River snaking through the valley there, pretty neat. Nice little break from the trail there at the overlook, gonna continue on around the loop. Thought it was gonna kinda level off a little. Elevation gain has got less aggressive, but still going up here. Coming up to another fork in the trail here, like uh, several forks, but I'm gonna continue on around the main loop trail. Doesn't show on the map here, but there's a connector here that goes across, takes you back to the other side if you're wanting to shorten this up a little, but we're gonna continue on around here, the lower part, and then over to the summit and back around. Out to another viewpoint, I believe. Oh. 
Stepped out to a viewpoint here on the Animus Mountain Trail. Quite a lot of hay fields there off in the distance. Animus River snaking its way down through the valley there. And the city of Durango there off in the distance. Fort Lewis College, I don't know if you can make it out, it's up there on top of that mesa there. Made it to the westernmost point on the Animus Mountain Trail here. Gonna start headed off to the northeast. Take a look off to the north behind us here. You can see Highway 550 off in the valley there. Animus River snaking its way up through there. Silverton is off in that direction over Coalbank Pass and Mollus Pass. Still working around the Animus Mountain Trail here, getting ready to start the last leg up towards the summit. I believe we're coming up to the last connector I cut you back across below the summit to the trail on the other side. I'm thinking maybe this is where the extended closure would start. Probably the sign would normally be there. They've taken it down, I suppose, or somebody's stolen it. I don't know, but this section, the peak section, is closed until July 31st, which was just a couple days ago. So we've timed this right to get the whole loop in. Once we cut back to the northeast there, the trail pretty well leveled out. It just kind of seems like we're walking across the top of Animus Mountain here. We haven't made it to the official summit area yet, but not strenuous up here. Actually, more dirt and less rock on the trail. Once you got past the first couple miles of the trail, down from the trailhead, it did get rockier, but up here, more soil. So, pretty easy going. Coming up on the summit area for Animus Mountain, no real signage for it, but there is a little side trail that goes out and overlooks the north side. I'm gonna go take a look at that. We're on the north side of Animus Mountain here at an elevation of 8,230 feet or about 2,500 meters. There's no official summit sign really, I guess, but I think we're just about at that point where we're gonna start working our way back down. Coming up to what looks like the final overlook from up here on Animus Mountain, as well as kind of a fork in the trail, the primary Animus Mountain Trail is going to stay here to the left. These other trails will take you off to some different trailheads. Not exactly sure what they're called or where, but you could see it on the map where it kind of headed off further to the south there. As far as overlooks go to the north, this is a pretty good one. Headed back from the Animus Mountain Summit area. Walk back is a little bit of a change of scenery. Just a nice casual walk through the pines. Working our way down here to the upper connector and another signpost. So again, I'm kind of safely assuming that above that is the extended closure area that runs December 1st to July 31st. So if you come early in the season, you're not gonna make it to the summit, but you can come up here and run it as a little shorter loop using the connector. It's a little tiny baby lizard. Oh my gosh, there it goes. I don't know what you call these things. Working my way back down the Animus Mountain Trail here. I'm right at the six miles or 9.6 kilometers the loop was supposed to be. 
not back yet i am getting relatively close no surprise it's going to be more than advertised but it's a nice hike i am out of water it ended up warming up quite a bit today it's 87 right now here in durango with that sun beating on you go through quite a bit of water i probably drink more than the average person but i'll be fine working my way downhill here it's pretty easy return hike so should be back at the trailhead here in just a little bit getting pretty close to being back i'm gonna assume this post and this chain area here is the lower closure area december 1st to april 15th the vast majority of this trail is closed for falcon nesting so really no point in coming up here prior to that all you're going to get is just this little lower section and an overview of durango and that's going to be about it so might as well wait till at least april 15th of course if you want to do the whole loop summit and everything you're going to need to wait till the first of august to get out here making our final descent on down into Drango here on the Animus Mountain Trail. I can tell you if you choose to do this clockwise, you're gonna start up a pretty steep section here. This is headed back down to where the trail forked there and I started around counterclockwise and up the switchbacks. This section here, pretty steep and rocky. Going down, it's not terrible, it doesn't bother me, but you know, I guess some people would prefer to come up, but I don't know. You got options. Take your pick, but it's pretty steep. Getting back to the trailhead here. Going to be right at 7 miles or 11.2 kilometers round trip. Not too bad, not too far off. Took me right at 4 hours. You know, if you didn't do as much stopping, you could hike it faster than that. Or if you just hike faster, you could hike it faster than that. That's what it took me. Gives you kind of an idea. Pretty nice little hike, you know, for being right here at town. Definitely not my favorite hike in this part of the state, but you know, if you're staying in a hotel in town or you're passing through and you can't go a long ways out of your way to do a hike, pretty good opportunity right here by town. So be sure to check it out if you're down in Durango. I hope you enjoyed the hike. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button to let me know. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do that so you don't miss any of my upcoming adventure videos. Thanks for joining me. Have a good day.